We're talking about the chain rule, and in a moment I'm going to talk about how to differentiate a special class of functions where the, they're compositions of functions, but the outside function is the natural log. But first, I want to take a look at an identity that comes from uh, a property of natural logs, e to the natural log of x equals x. Now, if I differentiate both sides of this equation, I'll get us a, a surprising and useful result. So I'm differentiating the left side, e to the ln x, and I'm differentiating the right side. Right? If two functions are equal for all values of x, then their derivatives should be equal. So on the right side, you can see that the derivative with respect to x of x is 1. Right? This is just a linear function. Its derivative is its slope. And on the left side, I can use the chain rule. The derivative of e to the ln x is going to be e to the ln x times the derivative of ln x. Let's pretend we don't know that. We don't know the derivative of ln x. So times the derivative of ln x. And then we can divide both sides by e to the ln x. And we get the derivative with respect to x of ln x equals 1 over e to the ln x. Now let's recall that e to the ln x is just x. So this is the same as 1 over x. What we just proved is that the derivative with respect to x of ln x is 1 over x. Now we've been using this result for a while, but I don't think we proved it. So here's, a, here's an actual proof of that uh, derivative result. Now let's go on to the chain rule. So you recall the chain rule tells us how to derivative, uh, d differentiate a composite function. And for composite functions, there's an inside function and an outside function. I've been calling the inside function g of x and the outside function f of x. Well, in this case, we're going to be dealing with uh, co composite functions where the outside function is natural log. So if you're differentiating the natural log of g of x, the derivative is 1 over g of x times g prime of x. And this is just a special case of the chain rule. 